Welcome to my 141 Life. I am so excited that you're here today. Um, I just wanted to give you an update on what's coming. I have been um, talking about and sharing with people about this journey, this five day journey that's coming up. It starts Monday, uh, November 16th, seven o'clock right on the Proverbs 14 one page on Facebook. Um, I'll have all the links and everything down below, but I, you know, the reason I think this is so exciting, I've talked to so many of you who said, yeah, Kate, I wanna be a wise woman who builds my house, but I don't have a clue how to do it. I get you, I know that foolish one seems to do more in my house than I do. Yeah, so if you can relate to that, then yes. Um, I had another woman say, you know, it's just not, it, it's not possible for me to become a wise woman. And I wanna say, yes, it's possible. Yes, it's probable. Just yes, yes, yes. You can become a wise woman who builds her house and stop being the foolish one who tears it down with her own hands. We've all done that. We've all done crazy, um, stupid things, right? He said, what was I thinking? Yeah. But here's the thing. In those five-day journey, um, we are going to walk through um, five verses of scripture. And we are going to look at what God says. Because it's, it's the only way to build our house. He's the only one who can build it. Because we're told that unless the Lord builds a house, those who labor, labor in vain. And in this process, I don't want to labor in vain. I want to build the way he wants me to build. Come on, he's the architect, right? Can you imagine um, taking a set of blueprints for a building to the contractor and say, this is how it's going to go. And contractor goes, great, wads it up and tosses it out. I don't think you're going to get the building the way that the architect had planned, right? And that's not what I want to do with my life either. I want my life to be as God wants it to be. How about you? Yeah. So starting Monday, we're going to walk through five days and we are going to look at some truths for us to hang on to, to use as building blocks in our life. Yeah. Don't think it's possible. Hmm. Well, I've, you know, it's that if, what if I can't do it? What if it's possible? What if it's too hard? What if it's easier than you realize? So if you're having ifs, you're in good company. Okay. I got my Bible. Of course I have my Bible. In Psalm 91, he talks about um, opening line, wait, we say it, and we say it a lot. Those who dwell in the self shelter of the Most High will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. But if you go down to mm -hmm. verse 9, it says, if you make the Lord your refuge, if, if you make the Lord your refuge, what's going to happen? If, if you let the Lord build your house. See, if is a choice, and it's a choice we have to make. Am I going to choose to let the Lord build my house? Am I going to choose to seek his wisdom, seek his blueprint for how my life is to be? If. And we just go, oh, what if it's, and, when we, and we tend to go in the negative. Let's go what ifs all in the positive, okay? What if God shows up in this? What if he changes my life? What if I learn more about him? I grow closer to him. I'm a stronger, faithful woman of God. What if? Yeah, that, that can happen because we're going to be in the word of God. So Monday, November 16th. It's a great day. It's my daughter's birthday. Great day to start. We're going to be on Proverbs 14.1, where we 
begin that five day journey of unpacking some truths for us to take with on our journey. So I encourage you to join me. Again, the link to the page will be in the bottom of this. There will also be a link to sign up if you are interested in the handouts. And you just go ahead and hit that link, fill out the form, and I will make sure you get handouts for this. You won't want to miss it. Feel free to share this because can you imagine the impact we could have on our homes, on our communities, in our nation, if we became women who build their house according to the word of God? I hope you join me.